All right, peeps. It's your man, Raj Jizzy. Up at G's. Show y'all the new layout. We got my man, Enzo, world time champion right there. My man. No <laughs> Doing his thing. All right, so. Dip. Wait, Enz, this joint not go this way, right? We're going down this way. Uh, this way now? Left to right, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, no, I'm sorry, y'all. Pit lane. So, now we're going. Whoop. Up, oh, he extended it. He extended the track out. So, see what I mean? So we're gonna go dip. There. Uh, down. Oh, okay. So it's down and around. And then down. Okay. Then this way. Alright, I got it. Then up. Dip. Okay. Wow. Whoop. Then, uh, oh. Then it's a U turn. Whoop. Then roll that. Oh, nice. See that? Okay. Then come back around. Okay. Something like that. But just. What's your name, brother? Brady. Brady. We got Brady here doing his thing. My man. All right, baby. So we out here. Well, I'm out here. Test the tune day. Saturday. I know I've been busy as hell, people. Uh, let me get to the trailer. Show y'all who's out here. Uh, man, people, I ain't really had time to really do nothing. Just kind of been get things together. Folks, what's up with this donut? Dang. He got the tricycle wheel on there. <laughs> My man, Foggy is the result of all day. You know, we back out here. That's all day. You get, did you figure it out? Not really. All right. But we'll figure it yeah, out. You'll get it. I'll get it. Paperwork right there. But we out here changing the bearing and in in that, uh, what, the bearing bed? The rear that one? The rear bearing went bad. Yeah. Okay, and that, that's the uh, match, right? Yep. B2R. B2R. About to rebuild it. All right. He'll figure it out. All right. People, let me show you this piece of crap over here. That's all in the way. Now, people, I gotta show y'all something. All right, we're gonna walk to the back. I'm, this is this is HM drum. This is my man Mo. Now, look, people, you know we usually be pitting right here. Mo gets here before us and sets up shop. Mo got us 88 blocks down the street. Make sure you show him the big old bobcat. Look. All right, come on. Mo gonna take us on a tour. His raggedy ass trailer. <laughs> now this is one thing that Devon don't got. Okay. Right? Yep. He probably got the, the, the LEDs. We we ain't gonna focus on the LEDs. Okay, hold on. Let me get my get let me get myself together. All right, so, go ahead. When you start talking about uh -huh. being able to pack, nigga can't do that. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. This piece of shit. Right. This piece of bling. Listen, 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 ask him who, who showed him the trailer? Who put him on the trailer? <laughs> yeah, trash. He got no generator. <laughs> he called me, yo, is this one all right? I should have said, no, you need a 500 watt one. What's this joint? Um, wind. This is a wind joint. Dude, this joint quiet too. And look, this is what, 30? Get on eco mode. Oh damn, let's drop down even more. Eco mode hopping. Look, got a little computer screen on there. Of course, you know what he running. That good stuff. Oh yeah. Alright, let's right. let's take a tour inside. <laughs> let's take a tour inside, people. Alright, well, welcome to the Taj Mahal. Now, I, I, okay. First thing to focus on is we got cable. Okay, you got cable. You got cable. But people, let me show you something. Look at this floor. Oh, no, 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 the floor, don't worry about the floor. His overhead worry, is no. cleaned up. Uh, look at the bed. But he do got the dual bunks. Look at the dual bunks. They popping. He got the dual bunks. Oh, oh and, and, and you talking about- AC? And of course, of, of course, course. Of course, of course. And when you want to talk about you got storage. Hey, oh, Eric, okay, let's see the magic storage. Woo! This people, this, 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 that's right there is worth the price of admission right there. Yes, sir. Like that. He got these cabinets that I can't even find no more. Yeah, yeah, it's Plastic exclusive. Stuff. Exclusive. Exclusive mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get these cabinets. Exclusive. 
See, you know how much storage you can get when you bang with the wall joints? You got his lights popping. Underneath lights. Now, let me show you something, people. Look at this chair. Who did put him on this chair? Exclusive. 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 And the uh, little joint. Don't forget the little ones. Ain't nothing up in there. Ain't nothing up in there. Oh, man. Ain't got nothing up in there. But he got the fridge right there. Now, you said it's a 30. In there, it's a 30 gallon. 30 gallon. Water, water tank. tank. Water tank. He got his little curie. His little microwave. Air fryer. Air fryer. Yeah, we doing it big. We doing it big. He got a little, little TV. A little. little uh, bag boy, he looking, he looking real good. Man, I'll take a look here. Yes, he, uh, he just got his messed up. This is, this is pretty snazzy too. Like that double. Yeah, yeah. Put the car on. Mm-hmm. I like Out of that. The Out of the he, 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 he looking good, people. And look, look, peep the storage down there. That's hot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to put your clothes in. Yeah. You know, some, some over overnight gear for the track. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look, mm -hmm. man. Look, look, nice, look. Nice, nice, nice. I, I mean, right now and then, people, you gotta have. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look, yeah, look. Look. He got, look, he got the, uh, he got the people. I had to put him down with this people. I had to put, <laughs> I had to put him down with that. <laughs> Yeah, baby, I'm gonna show you all that. That's a scoop, so, but I had to put it down. That's me, that's me, that's me all there. <laughs> oh, he looking good, though. Yes, sir. Now you got his little manatees. All right, we out. Get the hell out of this thing. <laughs> all right, people, you already know Kapach doing what he do. What's your name, brother? Uh, Dan. Dan, we got the new Dan on the block. She's helping to get him. What's wrong with him? Nah, we just getting them started. We about to break in this engine. Oh, okay. About to do a break in? Yes, sir. All right. I, I got to get to working. We got my man DC over here. Living in Vila Loca. Let's get him on. What you over here working with, pimp? Got my little Kyosho out today. You got the Kyosho out. He ain't bring his trailer. I want him to bring his trailer, but that's all right. We're going to get it on there next time. Here, let me show you his tent here. He says it's his wife, John, allegedly. Look at this little tent. He got he got nailed down to get underneath that thing. <laughs> All right, brother. All right, people. So let me go up in here. The, yo, hold on, people. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. All right, people. Let me show y'all. There's some little bit of upgrades and changes. All right, put the microwave in the fridge down there. I mounted it. So we built like a stand and mounted it. That way, you know, that thing ain't moving. And I pushed it back far enough where it's flush. So, and that way it ain't sticking out. All right. Put the track system in. This is one called, this is called the, um, uh, oh man, what is this thing? Gladiator. Gladiator, wall system, something like that. Uh, it works good. You just lock your stuff in and in here you can put tires. These bins are the bomb You can put them in here. You can put them on different sections and all this is PVC. You can cut it The bolts supposed to went in there, but I only had these long bolts. So If I'd have put them in there, I would have went through the, the trailer. So I had to spend them out here, but it's okay But um, yeah, see I got all my buggy tires here. Truggy tires there. It's new bodies. I painted. I got to pull them Pull the, the sticker off of them. Put the cards up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cabinet here. And they got a cabinet that hooks into the channels here. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a just like a small little uh, cabinet back there. Um, this cabinet same same. Now remember the refrigerator microwave was here. I took that out and put this like utility cabinet in there, which works out great. See, I need storage, so let me show you. So you open that thing up. Chemicals, paper towel, stuff like that up there. Buggy tires, truggy tires, rims and foams. And of course, that good stuff right there. Rolling. Boom, that's it. I got a new setup board. Look how thick that is. This thing works great. Two by two. Let's go for the uh, truggy. So, uh, besides that, people, I'm just getting here, setting up. I'm late, actually. Um, yeah, I'm late, so. Let me get set up shop, 
and then I'll be back, all right? Just trying to get set up. Um, peep the new chair. New chair, this joint nice. Arms fold up, popping. Lean back. The back is mesh, nice and comfortable. Cushion seat. And it roll, rolls too. It's adjustable. This is what they call a drafting chair or um, architectural chair because um, it's higher. Not like a regular desk chair. This one is sit and go up higher for like an architectural desk or something like that. So I still got to paint these cabinets, but <clears throat> whatever. So let me get busy, y'all. But anyway, um, all right. Truggy, I'm getting ready to take this. Um, this is the K5. About to take that out and put the um, ultimate in. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this ultimate here. Uh, yeah, the ultimate, um, whatever this one is, the uh, last of pipe. And this one here. I only gotta run a couple tanks, so I'm gonna put that five in. That's five something by it. Also, let me show you this. Maybe not today. I gotta break this in. It's that 3 0 EC. That's the EC. But shout out to my man Matt from Send It. Y'all know Send It. Um, I'm going to view this Dragon engine, Brian Lutstrength Alpha. I seen this run down at the um, Adrenaline, the Nitro Spring Fling. Uh, um, what's the name? He was down there. Uh, uh, Ryan Lutz. Lutz. He was down there. And this thing seemed like it's nasty. So I'm gonna unbox it and show you all this. Um, I'll probably put this in a buggy because I want to put that five port and pipe in the truggy. I'm gonna put this in the buggy, break it in, get y'all a review of that. You know, y'all can get these from my man Matt from Send It RC. You already know it, Send It. The tools, baby. Yes, sir. All right. And um, also, Matt has the, uh, I know I swear they did these announcements a while ago. It's just crazy. But y'all know that Maxi 3.0 is out. Um, it's supposed to be a new newer carburetor on there. Um, so far I can tell that's really the biggest difference, the 3.0. I got some pictures of it, but you can get that also from Send It. Matt um, on SendItRC.com. These alpha ones, I'm going to let y'all know how this thing get down. Brent is going to be a... Um, a aka dealer too for tires and you know you know you can always get your ultimate stuff from brent bonesmotorsports.com all right so y'all can go there get aka tires give him like two weeks because he got he just got it all together give him like two weeks and you can get tires from there from um there but the ultimates you can get now the ultimate product line you can get from brent now also from matt let me tell y'all now i got these new bearings in here right these things have been spectacular. Let me tell you something. I've done nothing to these cars since that spring fling run. I have not um, changed them or nothing. Clutch bearings, everything. This has a 30 minute main on it and up team practices. P and B, both of them. And they still running good. So Matt got these new bearings. These ones in here are hybrid. They um, cause with uh, uh what is it um, uh what's that one? They kind of they weak um um, uh ceramic. I'm sorry, ceramic, ceramic, ceramic bearings is less resistance and they and they fast. They less resistant to everything, but they kind of weak. But these ones will be like a sort of a hybrid. And they work, I ain't gonna lie, they work great. I have not had no issues with the bearings in the car or in the clutch. And this joint got at least two gallons on this clutch bearing. I have not changed it yet. Same thing with the buggy. Um, I'm gonna change them now. Or I might not, I don't know, because we're just practicing. But maybe, I don't know. But yeah, but you can get them joints from um, Send It. All right, people, let me set up. I'm going to unbox this, show y'all this real quick, and then, um, you know, do what we do. All right? Let me show y'all this real quick with hey, these come, servos. Come and look at it. I ain't even blow it at all. Come look out. All right, here I come. I'm going to just show you these Send It servos. I mean, I'm sorry. Send It bearings. Now, this thing got 
gallons. Gallon, at least two gallons. Main, 30 minute main, PMB, a bump, all that. Same bearing. It got the um, nitro spring fling race, all that. Now these are the bearings that's in there. Also, look at this. And they not looped or nothing. Just smooth. Look at that. Yo, I'm sending bearings. It's crazy. Changing out the clutch real quick. Oops. Um, the washers on this drink. Um, they've been holding me down. The washer's been good. These buggy clutches. I gotta hang on to these buggy clutches as long as I can because um, you know they don't make them no more. But um, washers been holding me down. Um, put some new shoes in her. Um, yeah, put some new shoes in her. Why not? Let me uh, get y'all some part numbers. I still got a little bit of stash. Let me see. I got a little bit of stash, but you know, stash getting low though. All right, um, let me get y'all some part numbers here. Uh, okay, all right. So for this one, we're gonna do two nylon, two composite. I'm gonna get y'all some part numbers. So that's all the nylon and all the composite. All right, okay, hold on. Anyway, all right, boom. All composite, okay? All composite. Part number 71022P. If you can find it, hopefully you can. All right. All aluminum 71022A. All right. And from there, you can make you a clutch. Like this right here, these two will do two clutches. Um, if you if if you doing two composite, two nylon. You know what I mean? It will do two right there. Um, that's been easier to find. They used to sell a kit that came with two aluminum, two composites. Good luck finding that. But so this is a little bit easier to find if you can. But this is even getting scarce. All right. Boom. All right. So that's the part numbers. All right. So let me get busy. Listen, I've been running this thing, and she runs great. I ain't getting no footage, because look, the damn, my GoPro is charging up. You can see the red light. She charging up, and um, it's, it was bone dead. Like, I ain't did a video in like a month, so I had to charge up. But I have been running. Look, the tires all bald, whole shots, but they've been good. This engine, she brown sugar, baby. She definitely brown sugar. Um, I like the power band in this thing. It's very controllable. Now, also, you got to remember, too, I have her running. Oh, let me get myself together here. Uh, I have her running a little just on the rich side because it's a new motor. You don't want to, you know, roach her out just yet. So she's a little, little rich, but she has been making all the jumps um, that I've been doing with her. No problem. But I definitely can tell she has more. Uh, she definitely could throw this truggy around. No problems at all. This pipe, the 2142, it's a good pipe, good pipe. A lot of nice bottom end on it. Uh, hell of a bottom end on it. Uh, it has a different tone to it, though. It, uh, this engine and pipe combo has a diff definitely a different tone on it. Um, but it's good. It's, it's nice. Um, compared to that, I had, you know, I've been running that K5 um, in the Truggy. And I don't know which one is better. I can't tell y'all because I know which one y'all do, which one is better. I don't know. I just got it. So I can't really tell you. Um, but let me tell you something. It's a strong contender. Strong. Strong. Uh, it throws it this buggy. I mean, it's chuggy around like it's no problem. Uh, when I first tuned, started, uh, shout out to Brent from Bones Motorsports for breaking this in for me. Appreciate that. But when I um, started her up, I, you know, I did two tanks idle. It gave a little bit of RPMs just to get her, you know, a little bit together. Um, she started up no problems uh, With all new engines she was finicky in the beginning like um, I had to adjust like you know I was going back and forth with the needles Every new engine is like that when it, you, you're starting to tune and get it together um, So I just left her rich ran her a little bit let her break in some more once I did that Then I began to tune her and she started like settling in really nice. No problems 
um i re i richened everything up and started over again um i did have to i had to richen up my mid a little bit um of course i leaned out my top and leaned out the bottom and then i adjusted my idle for what i needed it for and it was good she the power band is definitely controllable i like that i like controllable power bands um it hits when you need it to but you can also i can also feather and and have my rpm still up there where i need it and then punch it and it's good and it's rolling i like that um one con i'm gonna tell you about this that i don't like so all right so ultimate engineers or people are open i know i ain't nobody but you know listen listen you need to listen to me because i'm the consumer i'm out here running this shit you see this main needle this is too far straight so what happens is this is going this is a major major con because now for you to get this um adjust this you either got to one take your body off or you got to put a hole in the top of your body uh most people ain't doing it they don't most people racers don't want that many holes in their body as it is but a third hole on the top like the roof just to get to this needle now if it's truggy you probably can hit it from the back a little bit on the angle i was able to do that but you know how you put the hole right here you're not getting that because if you can see look how straight up that needle is that should be cocked if i show you this hold on if i show you the k5 you see how that needle, needle, that main needle is angled? Look at that. See that main needle angled? Now look at that. That's straight up. That is a major ding for me. Major ding. Because to adjust that, I had to keep taking the body off. I, didn't, I eventually just put a hole in my practice body at the roof of it. But who wants to do that? That is a major zing right there. So ultimate engineer, people, whatever fix that now maybe it's just mine i don't know i haven't heard anybody complain about that now why y'all ain't complaining about that maybe it's just mine i'm not sure but that that is a major thing that thing is damn near straight up and down all right but otherwise that the engine runs ex, ex, ex exciting it's like really nice nice tone to a really nice tone definitely a different tone from the than the k5 but um power band's good um let me charge up this uh i'm still charging this gopro up a little bit i'm gonna get y'all some footage of it, some running footage um i could talk about it all day but y'all want to see it run i know i get it so um but let me get it together and um i'll be back also we're gonna open this alpha up over here all right okay. <laughs> Damn.
Thank you, sir. Come on! <laughs> my fault. My man. My man, DC, in the building. Thank you, good brother. Run out of gas. Can we make it? Can we make it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a G. Like a G. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry, just gonna have to be the unboxing. Because I don't have my tripod with me. You know, usually I'm at the crib and I give you a shot, but it is what it is. So, again, shout out to Matt from Send It rc.com y'all can get these there he's a uh, alpha dealer um and of course you know you can get the maxi 3.0 there you know what i mean and of course the lovely servos so matt i appreciate you good brother thank you very much so we want to touch this thing out so okay so you got the box a little bit of wrapping open that the packaging is outstanding look at that mm, nice all right so in this joint you get some paperwork that's the uh, parts list right there. Oh, parts list right there. Let's see what that is. Um, I like when they give you parts lists, man. Because some of these engine manufacturers are cheap. You know what I mean? You be like, dang, dog. All this money, I can't even get a parts list. All right, so you got your breakdown, shakedown right there of um, parts. So if you ever happen to need something, order. Popping. All right. Uh, little manual uh, Content stuff like that um, That's good. It's good to give you some information about it. You know what I mean? That's real good Word Sticker sheets always good. You know, that's at least 10 horsepower right there, baby Word nice 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 Hey, give me a sticker board too. put all these in okie dokie What are we working with? Oh, uh, you need some glow plugs p3 Nice. Gold boys. Nice P3s. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I thought this was a regular uh, glow plug, not a turbo plug. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Good to go. Nice. P3. Uh, I'll get some Venturis. Damn. They got Gorilla Glue on them joints. Yo, wow. Okay, so we're we working with here. So we got a six. They call it A6. I ain't gonna try to get that other one out. Just spinning around like that. Uh, that one is a uh, 6.5. Yeah, let me take it out. Mm. Oh Lord, have mercy! How far y'all got some serious packaging? That's uh, there's a light 6.5. All right, word. So they give you a six and a 6.5. Nice. Okay. Cool. Pipe, manifold, uh, I don't really see nothing on there, might be a 75 millimeter, something like that, uh, 2134, okay, hmm. not too good, not too bad at all, I'll tell you what, it's beefy, beefy, I like that, it's beefy, be in the hand, look at that, thick stinger, pretty beefy, 2134. I'm going to do some research with that. Alright. Of course, you got your gaskets and your springs. Word. Screw for your exhaust. And I give you two gaskets with it. Sweet. Alright. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Alright. Whoa, we got some other paperwork. Nice. Let's see. Hold on, people. Word. That's the paperwork there. That's P3. 
oh pre-break and engine you only need to run two to four tanks car with 30 80 percent throttle first and run full speed after this process is gonna run on track on you to that word word nice so that's going in the buggy right now all right let me um open this up people sorry people i gotta do this one hand i'm doing this on the road you know normally i have it professionally normally i professionally do it but you know life so oh yeah oh she is sexy sorry y'all Put that oh this thing is so sexy wow look at that you even got the notches here when you tune it that is sexy oh she feel butter soft she got to give you a collet that's nice a little bit of accents all right no glow well they give you a glow plug it's just not in the engine mm. y'all gonna have to wait till i get home to, to peep the inside because i ain't doing the inside here uh mid so it's a three needle that main is a little different too nice 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 Let's see something here. sorry people i'm doing this one-handed all right so she's not dlc coded she's not dlc coded but hey you know doesn't mean doesn't mean she's not good okay DLC coding is just a coding to, you know, make the crank last a little longer. But if you take care of her, it won't be no problem. All right, so we got a Venturi in there. Nice, I like that. Um, and this is a 7. Sweet, this is a 7 in there. I like that. So, okay, so this barrel must be 7.5 as far as the carburetor. Nice, excellent. All right, let's pop that on. Oh, to get you another gasket here too, sweet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, word. Word, word, word. All right, people. So let me get busy. Wait for this thing to charge up. I can get you some footage of the um, M5S. Put this in the buggy. We say two to four tanks four tanks and 30 percent throttle yes sir all right again shout out to my man matt from send thank you good brother remember y'all get this from send all right all right people remember oh let me show you all this this thing came in handy today that's that 5.0 pillow balls i had to adjust my pillow balls <laughs> right in there you know, i didn't get these tools yet you better get them all right all right, people, let me uh, get busy, and I'll be back. She's still a little rich, but I don't want to.
These tires ain't worth a damn. Ah. I should have put the wish names on, damn it. Damn, I can't see shit. Oh, oh, that, that, that hurt. I knew something broke. I see. I knew I should have stopped. I said this is getting dangerous. Something gonna break. And what happened? Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> and look, what did I say? I said I better stop before I break something. And what happened? Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. But at least the engine's still running. All right, people. This is how it ends. Look at this. Diff case broke. Uh, a couple screws, new diff case. I got one, no biggie. But here's the thing: I should have stopped. I said I'm trying to run this alpha. The the jury's still out on this thing. I will say this: it was easy to tune. Um, I had the richness mid up some, and really, you know, play with this main, the old high speed. I did a little adjustment to the. Um, low it's really easy to tune it's probably one of the easiest engines i ever tuned but it tuned on the box like all right I, I did four tanks on the box like the directions tell you and then tuned it was good it like all i had to do was mess with that and it was okay then it was a little hard starting though uh but once i got it, it was good um and then after that went to the track it was good and then the tune changed now be, to be fair it is getting cold out there as you can see i had the heat on in here y'all see i had the heat on cremation it's 78 in here outside is 47. so to be fair the, the temperature did change so i had to retune it again um and it was good i couldn't really see and i something said stop because you're gonna break something and when i hit the wall it was like crack I heard it. Boom. So there's a couple of screws, no axles, nothing. Just um diff case. Um some pills. Um some screws, stuff like that. Not a really big deal, but um ain't nothing. Just plastic and some screws. But uh jury's still out. But I wanted to run it, I got it in, I ran it. Um it seems okay, you know. Well, I could tell I was trying to hurry up before it got dark. Um, I had these raggedy tires on that I just needed something to beat them up with. So this wasn't the best. I didn't set the car up or nothing. But, hey, look. It, it's still, you know, it seems okay. But the jury's still out. I, I can't really say anything about it yet. Um, I should have stopped while I was here. So I got some wrenching to do tonight if I'm going to race tomorrow. But we about to head to Walmart. And get then get something to eat so jury's still out but um she seemed to be okay so far all right people so let me get the wrenching do what i gotta do we about to bounce all right people i'll holler at y'all peace